Well, hello again, human beings from the planet Earth. Now I'm not trying to take a video of Nibiru. It's, I don't know, 3 a.m. Still can't go to sleep. Something has just felt very, very heavy lately. And I kind of talked to one very trusting and special person about it more in depth than I'm going to talk to you about the things I think and things I see. Because I don't, I don't think half the people that watch these videos even really f comprehend what's next. I mean, I was going to come out and show you the moon. Because I see a bad moon on the rise, except tonight there is no moon because, well, we're covered in clouds. And maybe that's because of the shit they sprayed on us earlier today. I'm not sure. Can't confirm that. But I'm wondering about you. Are you going to be able to uh, come out of the dust and rubble covered with blood, enough food for a day, and look across the way and see that one person that doesn't have enough for a bite that day and share with them? Uh, do, do you have any comprehension of, of how many things have gone foul or are about to? any idea at all I'm not giving you any predictions because I don't know I do know that there's 101 things that could pop off at any minute and make the whole house of cards and everything that you know now go away look at the people that just got hit by Sandy and that was just one storm one little part of the planet but there's other things worse than that just finding out now that all the children in Fukushima have cysts on their thyroids, majority of them. And Illinois is going to hand out potassium iodide to 60,000 homes. That's got to be at least, oh, I don't know, more than a quarter million people, right? Four people to a home, 60,000 homes. Okay that are near the six nuke plants and then halfway between there and the Gulf in Ohio a little sinkhole opens up but that's you know a few weeks after the big one in Louisiana and that's just a couple years after the hole that BP drilled on the other side of the salt dome and polluted the ocean and that's still leaking by the way all these things uh, people, too. This is the other thing that a lot of people maybe aren't considering. You're thinking about the economy, you're thinking about the earth changes. You see stuff and you're making preparations in some way. But what about the people? Have you thought about them? They're losing their minds, they're changing their ways. Some for the good, some people are waking up, it's great. But other people are just losing their minds. And just making choices that are totally out of character and getting almost radicalized in some way so that they're just spouting off and ranting. I know I rant a lot, I'm one to talk, but you, know, you only see my life in snips and usually by the time I'm pissed off and I get on the video to tell somebody about it, there's a lot of calm moments and quiet moments as well. And, and then just to the point that I don't know how much more I can tell you. I don't, I don't know if there, there are any words. So, I just wanted to ask you those few questions. Are you able to have the mindset that in the blink of an eye, everything that you know and count on could be changed in an instant? And that change isn't going to be happy and fuzzy and warm, no matter how much fluoride you've drank. 